All right, I'm gonna do a quick video on how to make my Predator 3500 with a remote start. Here's some of the stuff that I bought in order to make it happen. And then we're gonna take this control panel off. We got six screws. And then we got one and right in here, it's a Phillips. And then we got two up top, one, two, three on the bottom, two, three, and three back here. After you do that, you have to put take off these wheels, pop this off. There's a little cotter pin there, Not really a cotter pin. That's why I have a 2x4 there, so then I can just have it hanging. Alright, now that you got everything off, got this thing pulled down. Just have it resting right there. I'm going to take my board, take that off. And this is the guy that we're going to use today. And after all said and done, we're going to and pop them right there and I'm gonna start wiring up and then I'll show you what I did now I have everything wired up I'm gonna explain to you a little bit about what I did on this board these are some relays so you have a B C and D and that's the uh, same thing with on your remote right a B C and D so what you want to do is give power to the board first right and, but you don't want this LED light. Let's see if you can see it. You don't want that LED light on all the time. So you have it go to a switch first. Okay, this red wire is gonna be your power. And I have it going all the way to a switch that I installed right where this fuse is, factory. So on the board, or on your front panel, it's gonna be right here next to this. I don't use this, not many people do, so um, your uh, toggle switch can just easily be mounted right there, no big deal. So once you get one leg, if you can see it right in there, once you get one leg in there to the board, you send the other one over here, down into the battery compartment, down here, where the battery sits. Okay, and then I just, I ran my uh, ground and I grounded it right over here, right there. Okay, so now you have power and you can turn it on and off with that switch. Then I did a jumper all the way over here to this relay, which is going to be my starter. So we got power jumping over. Then we're going to take this one, it's going to go all the way over to your starter. Now this is your starter right here. Okay, you're going to have to cut this black and white wire. And I spliced mine in so then I can use this remote start and I can still use this panel. So I just spliced it in. Then what else I did is use B for the kill switch. So you take both of these wires and you splice them into your kill switch wire right here. So factory, these wires just come up, connect to here. Well, I just spliced them in. So you can still use your panel and you can use your remote. You don't need any power for this, it's just a circuit and you open and close it just by using that. Right over here, this thing is your antenna. I'm gonna be pulling that pretty far away so then the RFI doesn't get all messed up and ruin your signal. And another thing is to think about the 
choke. So for the choke, I believe you saw in my parts, it's gonna be this guy that's a DC um, lock for a car. And what I did was uh, I grounded it using this blue wire. And then this solenoid is a hot solenoid. So whenever you, you're, whenever you press the starter, this now becomes hot. So you don't need to run any wires over to your panel or to your, uh, your board and have a separate button for it. You can just press A and it's just gonna start. And I can even show you that right here. Oh, I guess I should show you how I did this first, so. So, uh, I connected a wire from the very top of it over to the other side. So that means you need to take this panel off, which is super easy. There's some screws. You lift this part up, a little tab, and you pull it off. So here's your carburetor. I did a wire all the way over to my uh, uh, choke right here. Okay. So I'm going to show you the test. Let's see if I can get some light. button everything up and I'll show you some of the progress. I put everything back together yeah. and here we go first test. Turn on the switch for the board and press A. Not too bad. And then turn it off with B. Turn it back on. There you go. Under 40 bucks.